Hi, my name is Aaron Weimer and I'm the Head of Reference for Southern Polytechnic State University. Creating a series of videos that are just little help videos that we're calling Library Information Abridged. And we're going to start by doing some of the administrative things that you'll need to do when you get your student ID or when you first get on campus. First thing I need to show you how to do is navigate to the library homepage. So to find your way to the library homepage, go up to where it says Quick Links and then just click on Library. That will take you to this page. This is our library homepage. And I'm going to show you the way that you should go to get around and then I'm going to show you a couple other ways. The main thing I want to show you is how to access your library account. What you will need to do is you'll need to get your PIN number. Okay, that's the ultimate goal here. To get that PIN number, there's a few steps you need to go through. The first step is you need to get your student ID. If you haven't gotten your student ID yet, I suggest you do so quickly. The second thing you'll need to do is once you've got that ID, walk in the front doors of the library, turn to your right, and you'll see the circulation desk or the front desk. Hand that ID to the person behind the counter. They will scan that in for you. Once we've done that, it means you exist. You're not a ghost out there being all ephemeral. You actually have physical form. So we know that you are actually out here. Once we've done that, there's one more step in the process. Go to the library homepage like you are now and click on where it says my account. Now, when it's working, it'll take you to this. It's a login page, that's all it is. We'll get you into your library account. What we're gonna do here is get your PIN number. So in the first line, you need to enter in your institution ID or your barcode number. If you don't know what either of those are, the institution ID number is the 000 number on the front of your ID. So if you have your ID and you can look at it, it's the 000 number on the front. The barcode is the number with all the nice black lines on the back. Either one's fine. If you're like me and you're lazy, you put the 000 number in because it's shorter. Then you enter your last name. If you don't know your last name, I officially cannot help you. Uh, if you do know your last name, however, go ahead and put it in. And then the PIN number part, we're going to skip because that's what the information you're trying to get. Once you've got those two bits of information in, click on where it says get my PIN. That will send a five-digit PIN number to your student email account. Once you get that email, you can enter in all the information, and then you can click log in. That will take you to your student library account. Uh, in your student library account, it will show your current, well, it will show you whatever address you've given us. It will show if you have any books checked out, if you have any books on hold, if you have any library holds, meaning that you won't be able to register until you pay that or until you get rid of that hold. It will show if you have any library fines, which will also create a hold at the end of the semester. It will show if you have any books in transit from other institutions across the state all kinds of stuff. That's where you would go for that. The other way to get into this login screen, if the link isn't working like it's not now, that's where the link goes now. That's not what you want. The other way to get in is to go to SPSU Library Catalog and then click on Access My Gill Account 2. And there you go. Okay. As I said at the beginning, we're going to be creating a series of these, so feel free to watch the ones after this. Thanks.